Dragons. My name is Guy Portelli and I am a professional sculptor. I am looking for an investment of £70,000 for a 25% share in my Pop Icons collection. The whole hundred pieces would have a today value in excess of a million pounds. Um, you would hope to sell them over a course of three years and the, the price would go up at least 20% a year. So what's the hundred coming the from? The hundred is the editions. The, the Grace Jones edition of ten. So we make one, we sell one, we make another one. The John Lennon's edition of ten, we make one, we sell one, we make another one. Okay. I mean, I have made and sold more than a million pounds worth of sculpture in the last ten years. Guy has clarified the deal on offer. Now James Kahn wants to interrogate the sculptor on his finances. What's the latest piece you've done, Amy? The Amy is the most recent work. OK, and what are you selling Amy for? She was in the gallery recently at 18,000. What's the most expensive piece you've sold? Um, we sold one recently for 28,000, a John Lee Hooker sculpture, which is an edition of three. The first one went to the Porsche family, which I sold seven, eight years ago, for 10,000. This one went for 28, and the next one will sell for 36. Are you saying that today, if somebody gave you £70,000, yeah. they would get back 25% of a sale price of every sculpture you sold for the next 100? Yes. OK, why? Why? Because I have never put on a show of this magnitude. Um, we would expect to sell 40 pieces in the first year, and then 30 okay. pieces Okay, what would those year. 40 pieces fetch? In the first year? We would be looking to sell £250,000 worth. £250,000 worth in the first year. So the investor would get 25% of that £250,000, right. which is £62,500. Yeah. So he'd practically get his money back in the first year. That's the idea. Guy is showing that on top of his undoubted artistic skills, he also has an entrepreneurial brain. The Opafetus wants to drill down further into the business plan. What are you going to do with the money? The breakdown of the 70,000 is 25,000 for the exhibition and 45,000 for the cost of materials and, and labour to complete the work. 25,000 for exhibition, what does that mean? Well, I would plan to rent the Mel Galleries in London which is a large, prestigious place. It can accommodate three to 400 people. Um, it would be a major show, a major So event. you're gonna put your own exhibition on? What commission would they normally take? 50%. Five zero? Yeah. Ah. By confessing that a gallery would normally expect to receive half the revenue generated by sales of his collection, the Dragons have worked out Guy is offering them a much lesser deal. And art lover Deborah Meaden has other concerns. Guy, hello, I'm Deborah. Hello, Deborah. What you're doing here is quite simple. Yes. You're saying, I'm going to take, I'm not going to spend the 50% on the gallery. Mm -hmm. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually get an investor in at 25% mm -hmm. and think that I can actually do myself a better deal. The bit that I worry you're missing Mm. is the fact that when you pay the gallery the commission, mm. you're paying them for their marketing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what's your marketing plan? How are you going to get people through the door? Because that's the bit that you're completely cutting out when you cut out a gallery. Um, well, I'd hope to generate quite a lot of media interest, get a lot of editorial. Why, the great Why would thing, you? The great thing with this series of work is that it does attract a lot of media interest and it also is international. You could take the show to Tokyo, you could take the show to Paris, to Berlin, and it would mean something to people. Guy's clearly confident about his project, but it's an unusual business proposition and hard for the Dragons to evaluate their risk. Will Theo Pafitis find a solution? If someone was to offer you the money, would you allow ownership of those 18 pieces to the person that gave you the money. The investor. Yeah. Till they got the investment back. That wouldn't be a problem. Well, I'll make you an offer then. I'll give you the 70,000 pounds. A 
direct, Theo Pafitis grabs his opportunity to make an offer for the full amount, but has demanded the valuable sculptures as collateral to minimise his risk. Now Peter Jones has an equally unexpected proposition of his own. For this to really work, you want maximum impact out in the market, you want people to know about it. So I'd like to recommend something that is that you get £70,000 for 25%, mm -hmm. but all of the dragons collectively have a piece of the pie, mm. but then you've got five fairly powerful people supporting this activity in 2009. Well, so it's, it's not just a question to you, it's obviously yeah. a question to see whether mm. the dragons would yes. be interested. Um, I would be quite interested, uh, Guy, to um, follow Peter's theme, which I think I could probably add quite a bit of value to that. Mm -hmm. um, I think there's a return to be made. It's an astute proposal from Peter Jones, and James Kahn is quick to sign up to it. Will Deborah Meaden help make it a clean sweep? I do back artists and I do commission sculptures, so I, I'm in this space, but I have a very clear line between investing mm. and buying something because mm. I want to. Mm. And for me, this hasn't triggered any passion or any... No. So, no. whatever, even if it was a Five Dragon deal, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be investing, no. so I'm out. It's a sudden setback. Now, what will Duncan Bannatyne think of Peter Jones's Dragon Consortium? I think Dylan before dragons would be difficult. Yeah. So I wouldn't want to participate before dragons. Yeah. Well, I'm very happy if people are passionate about what I do. Um, and if uh, James, Theo and Peter wanted to all put some money in, I would be thrilled with that team. Um, Duncan, if you feel passionately about it, then I'm happy for you as well to be part of that team. I feel passionate about your work, Guy, but I don't feel passionate about investing with the team. No. That's the problem. Yeah. So what I've been considering is making you a better offer. OK. I'm going to be an offer. <clears throat> it's on the same basis. I would own the, the 18 pieces until it was sold, but my offer isn't for £70,000, it's for £90,000. That's my offer. Mm -hmm. It's an offer by me on my own. In a bold move, Duncan Bannatyne is trying to steal a deal and distance himself from his rivals. Guy must now choose between partnering up with three dragons or go for the higher cash deal with one. It's a very generous offer. I mean, I'm um, astounded. Thank you very much. Um, I think three people, three guest lists, three lots of enthusiasm would be beneficial to the project. And if I could have an offer of 80,000 from the three, I would be keen to have that. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. I think you've got yourself a deal, guy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, well, Leo. I look, I, look, I look forward to working with you. Well, that's fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Guy's done it. Not only has he negotiated more money than he came in for, but he also has the combined expertise of three well-connected dragons.